The Distinction in International Law and Affairs Awards recognizes those who have made a major contribution to international peace, global understanding, and democracy. The mission of the UN Office for Disarmament Affairs in keeping with the UN Sustainable Development Goal number 16 of peace, justice, and strong institutions fosters disarmament measurements for sustainable development, quality of life, and survival of our planet. The office works to address the humanitarian impact of major conventional weapons, which are combat helicopters, armored compact vehicles, and warships and the like, as well as weapons of mass destruction, which include chemical, biological, and radioactive weapons, as well as emerging weapon technologies, such as the proliferation of autonomous weapons. It also forces this armament measures through dialogue, transparency, and confidence building on military matters. Now, working with nations, it also works with non-state actors that include people with boots on the ground, such as NGOs, non-government organizations, which are nonprofit entities, independent of governmental influence, but may be funded by governments, as well as civil society, which are a community of citizens linked by a common interest. Now, at this point, even though I'm looking at my notes and can't see you, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna ask you to close your eyes. And since we're on Zoom, it'll be easier for me to see who cheats. Now, while you have your eyes closed, I want you to think about, reflect on the words of our international section chair, Jay Hines, when he said, there is continuing and urgent need to avoid proliferation of nuclear weapons, to revitalize global disarmament discussions, and eventually to abolish nuclear weapons themselves. Now, while you're reflecting on these words, think about it for a minute. Put yourself in the following shoes. Imagine negotiating with nations of various languages, legal systems, customs, beliefs, and interests to address the humanitarian impact of emerging weapon technologies, and then simultaneously with non-state actors to address humanitarian impact of major conventional weapons. Okay, now open your eyes. Just think, just take that in for a minute and what that entails and how daunting that sounds. Now, I think you would agree that this work is no easy feat, especially in the light of the COVID-19 pandemic that is challenging the UN ODA's already strained efforts to prevent the emergence of additional risks for instability, unrest, and conflict. Accepting this award on behalf of the UN ODA is Her Excellency Izumu Nakamatsu, who is the Under Secretary General and High Representative for Disarmament Affairs at the UNODA. Ms. Nakamatsu has had a distinguished career with the United Nations. She's held positions with the Office of the High Commissioner for Refugees, the Department of Peacekeeping Organizations, as well as UNDP, the United Nations Development Program. So in presenting this award, let me just tell you what it says. It says NYSBA, UN Office of Disarmament Affairs, January 27, 2021, and I hope you can see it well, Distinction in International Law and Affairs Award. And with that, I virtually present you, Ms. Nakamitsu, with this award and turn the podium over to you. Thank you.